Good afternoon, everybody. This is your scruffy friendly neighborhood uh, network admin coming to you from one of my remote clinics. Um, this is the lovely wiring closet we have out here in one of our smaller clinics. Um, see, I've got my, my favorite wiring here that I like to do. Um, and the reason I'm here today is because we, uh, I was working with our uh, carrier that provides our network service out here, our WAN service. Um, we were having some complaints here from this office that it was running at a, a much slower speed than they desired. So I came out here and did some checking, and sure enough, I mean, we're paying for 50 megabits, up, you know, 50 megabit line speed. And the tests I was running, I was seeing only like 15, 15 up, 15 down. No bueno. So, um got the carrier out here and we did some tests with them and they agreed yeah you should be seeing a higher bandwidth um, what we come to find out is that the Cisco router that they had in here um, was limited on the port speeds that it would provide because it was an older older T1 router basically and uh, I'm sorry I don't know that much about Cisco so I can't give you all the whys and wherefores bottom line is that router had to go and we had to get a new rent, new one so they, uh, they said, well, let's give them the latest and greatest. They brought out a, a new Ubiquiti router. And they put that in, and we did some testing, and yeah, we were getting good line speeds again. So, oh yeah, that's great. So uh, we put that router in, I was able to ping all my internal resources. I was able to um, ping the internet. I was able to get to the internet, no problem. Um, but one problem we did run into those with those was that with the ubiquity we couldn't get to our intranet web page intranet so it's our company's internal web page we couldn't get to that also the um, the, the workstations the user workstations were all reporting off network so if you look down in the little corner of the screen there's a little networking icon and there's a yellow exclamation point next to it meaning that it's not seeing the internet and in a few cases, there was a little red X, which means it wasn't seeing the network at all, which was odd, because, I mean, they're, they're connected on this switch, so they said should see the network. Um, but, we, you know, they, uh, the carrier tried a bunch of things with their Ubiquiti routers, and nothing, nothing worked. So we put everything back the way it was, and everything started working on the old router, but still at the slow speeds. So today, the clinic happened to be closed, and uh, the office manager said, well, you can have all day. So that's great. So we came out here at about 9.30 or so and spent till about 1 um, with those Ubiquiti routers. Well, not all the way to 1, but you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, and with the Ubiquiti routers, the same thing. They, so they troubleshoot for a couple of hours, couldn't figure anything out. And I said, well, why don't we try the new routers? So what they brought was the Cisco, if you can see that, 7301 routers. Um, I don't know much about 7301 routers except that they're newer and they run faster than the Cisco, the, I don't even remember what the part number is we had before, but it was old, like a 28 something, I don't know, it doesn't matter, it was old, slow. So they put this guy in and then bam, everything was working great. Um, so we, we were, they did some more line tests and made sure we were getting the full 50 meg, yep we were. Um, now when I do my testing it's slightly lower than that because um, these are running over a VPN tunnel and there is some overhead for IPS, you know, IPsec and that sort of thing so we won't get the full 50 meg um, but they were able to get it when they were just doing their end-to-end -to -end -to -end testing with their uh, iPerf on their laptop. Uh, iPerf is a network performance software you can run. There's a client piece and a server piece and uh, you can get some pretty um, accurate measurements with that. That's what they were using. And they were getting the full 50 meg out of that. It was running slightly slower with the, the route ran because of the VPN tunnel. That's okay. Um, but it's, it's a lot faster than it was. And all of our network uh, services were restored. So in the end user machines could get to the intranet page. Um, little yellow exclamation points and red X's went away. And uh, all was good. So, not sure what's going on with those Ubiquiti routers. Um, I did find out that, that Ubiquiti is new to our carrier. 
Um, and this is the first place they tried them. They haven't tried them with any other customers. <laughs> oh, joy! Um, so anyway, uh, we will not be oh, ubiquity customers. Um, they, they're going to they're gonna take them back to the shop, they said, and uh, do a little experimenting, see if they can figure out what that could have been. So, um, yeah. So anyway, that's my update for this week, coming to you from our clinic, one of our clinics, Wiring Closets. And uh, I wish wiring closets stayed wiring closets, but a lot of times they become uh, storerooms, uh, janitorial closets, uh, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for joining in, and um, look forward to talking to you all next time. Have a great one. Boop.